This is the fun way to learn Japanese. Hi, I'm Camila Chu, and today we're going to take a look at Nowntown, the desktop version. As I already covered the VR version last year. Nowntown is a language learning game released last year in VR, introducing a new, fun, interactive way to learn languages. I will play the game in Japanese, but you also have the option of choosing Korean, Chinese, Spanish, French, German, and Italian. So let's dive in and see how well I do compared to the VR version I did last year. As Spawn, you will, like any other game, go through a tutorial where you would choose the target language, which of six characters you wish to play as, and how the mechanics work. Which in this game is you picking up an item, pressing R to hear the word in the target language, and you repeating it back, which the game will then detect if it is correct or not. Press R to hear the name of the object. Nomimono. Nomimono? Nomimono. Yeah, I did it! When completed, you can now travel to a location in the real town of Nowntown, where your job is to recolorize the world itself. Which, like in the VR version, is done by completing five words at different locations of your target language. Kagami. We did it! Yanduru. Tatami. Terebi. And when you've done the five words, you will be given a little memory test based on visuals only to see if you can remember the name of the five words you chose or the five items you chose. When you get all five words correct and complete the test, the world will slowly start to colorize again. Additionally, if you're up for a small challenge, mini games will be unlocked like Learning Rush, which if you're like me, a more action-based learner, is fantastic to help you memorize the words you just learned. And they even include some high scores if you feel like outdoing yourself. As you roam the many locations of Nowntown, you will stumble upon NPCs that will all talk in the language you chose to learn. This we will return to later, as now I'm going to show you there is more than one way to travel across Nowntown than fast travel, which of course is also a learning opportunity of direction, the insane driving of the delivery car. Stop, stop, uh, okay, forward, wow! Oh my god, breathe! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the best driver! Oh god! Yep, driving is quite the experience and if you manage to stop the fun for a second and actually pay attention to what's happening, you can learn direction in your language. You may even notice there are small broken robot parts around town, which also will give you a cute little surprise you will see later. One thing I love about Nowntown is they did not exclude the silliness. Or... or oh, oh my god! <laughs> the Piranha's following me! Wee. Now it's kind of a given, but of course the farm also has five words for you to learn. And a test, and a bonus minigame. And not to forget Moody, a slightly grumpy NPC. Hi! Sup, homie? Good morning! Good morning to you! Moody may be a sore loser. But interacting with them shows us we can toggle different text modes and dialogues with NPCs. Like turning the text English or in the case of Japanese, Romaji lettering. Oh, and remember the broken robot part we found before? When completing enough of the numbers games connected to it, we'll fix the robot and you can interact with it and it will give you a little smiley. What Noun Town absolutely nails and also slightly did the same in their VR version is not only being at the base level a visual experience compared to the classic learning via books, they still manage to diversify the ways of learning inside the game, as absolutely no one learns the same way. And they make sure to include rewards for completing the lessons. Like the silly animations and colors of the horse and animals, I personally love when I did the words correctly. Or they include the high score option in the mini game Learning Rush, the ridiculous maneuvering of the car. And of course, like we just saw now, the little smiley from the robot we assembled. And since everything I've shown you now is only through the demo, who knows how many things are added to the actual finished game. I sure as hell am gonna find out and I may bring you along the way. And in case so, which language should I choose? Let me know in the replies and maybe check out the VR version video I made.